a quick run through of the Terrace Pro while we're here at the BC Home and Garden Show. Uh, starting here at the bottom, we have the cabinet, and in this cabinet is a large reservoir. In the reservoir, we've got our nutrient water solution, and essentially you can go on vacation for up to two weeks and not worry about running out of water. Um, the whole system's automated, so the lights come on and off, the fans come on and off, and the reservoir pumps water up twice a day, and that's all automated. You can also use the system in manual mode. Um, so, but essentially how it works is this pump in the bottom comes on and pumps water up to this top tray. It floods the top tray about halfway, and then once it's at halfway point, it overflows and starts cascading down to the next level, and then once that overflows, it cascades down into the bottom reservoir. So that happens twice a day for 15 minutes, so the pump's not on all the time, and that's a big difference from other systems where you have to listen to the pump in the background, which can be annoying. Another unique feature is that this system has fans, which is what you would see in a, a professional growing environment. The fans help with moving the air and suppressing disease, and also allow the plants to grow more vigorously. Um, there's a lot of flexibility built in this system, so this shelf will actually go up and down. You simply lift it in and out once the produce is out of the system. And that allows you to grow taller plants in the bottom, shorter plants on top, and gives you that flexibility. So if you want to take a look here, you can see that another really unique feature of the Terrace Pro is it allows you to grow full flats of greens. And that's different from other systems because um, these other systems have little tiny seed pods and the biggest area you'd be able to grow microgreens in is about uh, the size of a loony. And that's, uh, that's really limiting your production output. But with this system, you can grow these full flats and you basically come in and you trim off a little bit every day with some scissors and that allows you to make a fresh salad every day. A few other things you can grow are these really beautiful heads of leafy greens. These are unique varieties that you can't get in the grocery store. This is a red oak leaf. Uh, down here you can see a, a red butter leaf. And these are soft leaved vegetables. So they don't transport well and that's why you don't see them in the grocery store. But they happen to be the, some of the most nutritious varieties you can buy. Um, sometimes two to seven times more nutrient density than some of these grocery store varieties like iceberg or, or romaine. Um, another thing you can grow in here is these really beautiful herbs. And again, herbs you can't get in the grocery store. This is a spicy globe basil. Um, we've got some unique varieties of dill, parsley. Uh, there's a Genovese basil. We've got rosemary in the back. And something that's really hard to convey on camera is that the smell that you get from having the system in your space. And it actually smells quite nice right now because we've got the airflow going through the herbs and that's that's making its way into the air. So, so this is the back of the system. It has uh, sort of the utilities that allow the system to operate. So down here you can see the reservoir which is really easy to access from the back. Um, this hose coming out of the reservoir is where the pump attaches. So the pump sits right in the bottom and water comes up into the top tray and then cascades through this hose here into the bottom tray. And then we have this smart power bar here which you can connect to your phone. And again, that allows you to control the system manually on your phone from anywhere in the world. Or you can set the timers to come on and off automatically and then every day they run based on the timers. We supply you with everything you need to grow from day one. So we have these uh, really comprehensive grow guides that are easy to follow, step-by-step -step instructions, uh, as well as planting guides for when, when you want to plant things and um, how long they take to grow. Uh, we have curated seed varieties, which we also supply, and you're welcome to buy seeds from other people as well, or you can just buy them straight from us. If you buy them from us, there is a guarantee that they'll work and not just germinate, but also grow really well in the system. Uh, we also provide the nutrients you need, so again, really simple, you just add it to water and then put it in the system. Um, to monitor the nutrient levels, we supply you with this uh, fancy piece of equipment. It uh, looks complicated, but essentially it's just a bunch of lights that light up on the front. And you want to be in the, the 1.8 to um, 2.4 range, and that ensures that your nutrient levels are, are optimal. Um, lots of flexibility built into that, so if it's lower than that, your plants aren't going to die. If it's higher, they're not going to die, but that's the optimal range. 
Um, and then we go into the growing media. So these are rock wool blocks. Um, these we found work best, but you can use other types of media like cocoa core in the system. Um, but essentially all you have to do is take a uh, pre-seeded pre uh, pellet. So this is clay coating the seed. And all you have to do is wet this material down. You put your seed in and then you put it in an, a little incubation tray that we supply and that allows the seed to germinate. Once you have a small head of lettuce, which is about the size of this in width, you would take that and put it into a larger growing block and then put that in the system. So it's really easy uh, to plant seeds and germinate seeds and very little effort, about uh, 10 minutes a week of planting and harvesting. There's also one last thing, the, the pH of the water you monitor uh, with pH strips and these you might remember from elementary school, very easy to use and we also have a pH uh, adjuster to adjust the pH down, which also helps with growth. Again, that's not necessary, but it really helps with the plants to uh, allow them to grow really well and healthy.